the location strategy. What is it and how can you use it to grow your property consultancy? That's what we're talking about in this video. Now, what, what, what you've probably found as you've grown your business is that you start to reach a point where you can't really grow anymore. You've saturated the market. Normally, if you've got, say, 30% of the clients in that market, you probably won't grow above that point unless one of your competitors goes out of business for some reason. So you might get the odd new client, but then another client might leave. So essentially, you stay the same. And this is what happened in one of our businesses. Now, what we did using this strategy, we had one large client, which was based around 100 miles away. And so what we decided to do was use their location as our second area. So as well as increasing how much work we got from them, we also started to target other clients in that second location too. And then we copied the strategy across multiple new locations until we had clients and contracts all over the country. But the, the, the important thing with this strategy is you have to dedicate resource to each area. So you keep people focused on that existing area, but then you dedicate new staff and new resources to the new area. Otherwise, what you'll find, you, you'll borrow staff or resources from one area, but then that area falls behind. Both areas have to be run like separate businesses. So how can you use a strategy to grow your property consultancy? So this strategy really starts by plotting your existing clients on a map and identifying where they are. What you might find is, like in our example, you might have a client in one area and it might not be very profitable to work with, work with them. But by using this strategy, it could make them much easier to work with and also increase the amount of profit you make from them. So after you've plotted your clients on a, out on a map, the next step is to look at what area does that already cover. Are they all based in one compact area or is it more of a regional makeup of clients? Or they might all be with it, with it be within a 30 mile radius, for example. So you can use a few options now. You could increase that radius from, say, a 30 mile radius to a 50 mile radius. How many more target clients would that open up? The other option is to perhaps do what we did and open a brand new area. Perhaps you've, you've got one or two clients in, in another area that you could support them better, but also attract new clients in that area as well. And there's other strategies uh, that, that we'll look at in other videos that you can use to combine with this strategy to make it happen faster. But by using this strategy, if you can dedicate that resource, you can use this strategy to grow your business into a national company. But using this strategy doesn't mean you, you need to start setting up dedicated offices in each location. It just means having that local presence for your clients in that area. If you look at many of the national companies, you'll notice that a lot of them just have a central office and then they might have a, a few people based locally in each area, either working from a small satellite office or just working from home. And that's how you use a location strategy to grow your property consultancy.